Hey guys, it's Sagar and I would like to wish each and every one of you a very happy new year. To begin this year, I have a very special video for you guys about my everyday carry. Special because it's my first EDC video. I have already made a video about what's in my tech travel bag. But this video is just about the tech which I either carry with me every time when I leave my house or the ones that I don't necessarily carry everywhere but use every day. Before we begin, I know a lot of you are new to this channel so I would like you to take a few moments to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. That way, you won't miss out on any of the amazing videos coming up on this channel. I haven't made this video before because no one has ever asked for it in the comments, like ever. But I like watching other reviewers and YouTubers showing us the items that they use on a regular basis. So I thought maybe you guys might be interested in the things that I use on a regular basis. This also helps you get to know me a bit better. Let us first look at the things which I carry on me on a daily basis wherever I go. You can consider this segment to be a what's in my pocket. First item on this list is the iPhone 13 Pro. This is my smartphone of the choice. It is the perfect size, cameras are phenomenal and the battery is amazing for me. I have other Android phones on the side but I don't carry or use them every day as my main phone when I'm not testing them. I didn't go with the Max this time because it is too big and heavy. I do like the iPhone 13 mini though. It also comes with a bigger battery now, so maybe sometime later this year it might find a permanent spot in my pocket. I don't remember when was the last time I left the home without this phone in my hand or pocket. So this stays on me all the time. This is not a smartphone review so we are not going to talk any more about it. Moving on, at any given point I have one of these three cases on my phone. I have a ton of cases but these three are my favorite ones. I even made a dedicated video about the best cases for the iPhone 13 Pro. I will leave a card to it on the top right corner of your screen if you guys want to check it out. I carry one of these two wallets with me whenever I leave my home. This one is from Anda and it's a MagSafe wallet. I use it with a Pitaka case because out of the three cases that I like, this is the only case which has the MagSafe magnets built in. I just carry one or two cards and some emergency cash with me. The rest of the things that I need are on my phone, so I don't need to carry a bulky wallet and this one serves the purpose. When I'm using the Mujo or Ringe case, or when I need to carry more cards with me, I need to carry a separate wallet. And for that, I use this leather card holder from the Dot company. It can hold 6 cards and some cash. I just carry 2 or 3 cards and some cash, so it is still slim enough to not feel bulky in my pocket. Now Hirsch from the YouTube channel Technolobe is one of the co-founders from the Dot company and I'm always looking to support local companies, so a big shout out to the Dot company. Just to be clear, this video is not sponsored by the Dot company and they didn't even send me this wallet. I purchased it myself and I genuinely like it and that is the only reason that I am telling you about it. Hey Harsh, if you are watching this video, could you maybe make a vertical one for just 2 or 3 cards and a pull tab? For my watch, right now I am using the Apple Watch SE. Before this, I was using the Apple Watch Series 7 and prior to that I was actually using the original Apple Watch which came out 6 years back. I went back to the Apple Watch SE because I think it offers me most of the things that I use at a reasonable price point and it comes in space grey color which the Apple Watch Series 7 doesn't. This is the 44mm one and right now I have the Nomad original leather band on it. Whenever I am doing some physical activities or I am going anywhere casual, I use one of these bands to go along with the watch. Very soon I will have a full review of this watch for you guys and the reason for why I went from the Apple Watch Series 7 back to this up on the channel. So make sure you have the notifications turned on. I hate carrying keys and I just hate the fact that they dangle around in my pocket scratching anything else around them. So I won't carry any more keys than what I absolutely have to. I have a smart lock at my home, so fortunately whenever I am leaving my house or the studio, which by the way is in my house, all I need to carry are my car keys and that's it. By the way, this is a key to my Hyundai venue which I absolutely love. The last item on me are the AirPods Pro. I love these AirPods Pro and I have been using them for the past 2 years. I always found the regular AirPods to slip out of my ears. But these ones with rubber or silicon tips stay put in my ears even if I move around a lot. I know a lot of people don't like the sealed or closed feel that these AirPods Pro have when you put on them. You guys can go for the newer AirPods 3. They offer same amazing sound but without the rubber tips and noise cancellation. My AirPods Pro are protected by this Nomad leather case. The cover itself scratches like crazy. But it makes sure that the AirPods inside are nice and safe. I did run into some crackling issues. But Apple was nice enough to replace them for free even when they were out of warranty. Things like these always keep me going back to Apple products. Those were all the things which I carry with me whenever I leave my home. You might have noticed that I don't carry a pocket knife. Not just in my pockets, I actually don't have a pocket knife or an unboxing knife anywhere in the studio. Wait what? How can you be a tech reviewer and not have a fancy knife? Are you even a real reviewer? I can actually hear you guys thinking this and judging me right now. 
But honestly, I never felt a need for an unboxing knife. Most of the packages which I receive can be easily opened with a pair of scissors or a box cutter. And I have both of them handy in my studio. So that is the reason I never went for a special unboxing knife. If someone watching this video makes cool fancy pocket knives and would like to send one my way, I'm not going to say no to that. Coming to the other tech items which I use every day but not necessarily carry them around. The first item on this list is the M1 MacBook Air. This is not my travel laptop but it is my only computer where I edit all my videos and have been doing so for the past one year. I have a couple of videos on why I chose this particular laptop and what I was using before this. I would leave links to those videos on the top right corner of your screen if you guys want to check them out. All in all, I love this MacBook Air. It can handle anything and everything that I throw at it. Yes, it is not the fastest laptop to get my job done and it has also crashed on me a couple of times and I should probably get one of the M1 Pro or M1 Max MacBook Pros but I think I'm going to wait until Apple transitions all its Macs to their in-house silicon and then make my purchase decision. Until then, this MacBook Air will have to do the job for me. I went with the base version of the MacBook Air so it only gets 256 GB of built-in storage. Which means anytime I want to edit videos, I have to do it off of an external SSD which I don't really mind. My SSD of the choice is this 1TB Shell Thunder from Fledging and another 1TB T7 Samsung SSD. Both of these offer blazing fast transfer speeds of about 1000 megabits per second and that is the reason they are a part of my setup. Something else that I use on daily basis is my Sony E7S3 camera and the Tamron 28-75mm to f2.8 lens combo. I got them a little over a year back and I have been using them exclusively for all my videos ever since. It shoots 4K 4-2 videos at 120fps, colors are amazing, autofocus is on point and it can keep on shooting until my memory card runs out without overheating. What more do I need? Since the M1 MacBook Air doesn't have an SD card slot, this is the only adapter which I need to carry around with me. I don't carry any other dongles. Unfortunately, I also need 3 separate cables to charge my devices. I need a USB-C cable to charge the laptop and camera, lightning cable to charge the iPhone and watch charger to juice up my Apple Watch. Fortunately, I just need to carry one power brick to charge all my devices. I believe this is the AMX XP60 power brick. It gets a USB Type-C port and 3 USB Type-A ports so I can charge multiple devices at the same time at a faster rate. Full disclosure, AMX did send this one out to me, so thanks AMX but they did not sponsor this video. I even have a few more of these around my house but I spent my own money on it. These are that good and convenient. So these are all the things in my everyday carry for early 2022. If I need to travel with these things, I just have to put these 3 to 4 items in the bag so I don't need a big bulky bag whenever I travel. I don't make these videos too often because most of the things that you see in this video remain same. The only thing that changes every year is my smartphone and maybe, just maybe, we might see a laptop refresh sometime later this year. Maybe I'll make a EDC video when that happens. If you guys would be interested in checking that out, let me know in the comments. While you are in the comments section, do me a favor and let me know your EDC items. They might not be fancy or they might not even be tech items, just let me know in the comments. Links to all the things that I mentioned in this video will be in the description section. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel for a lot more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.